Okay? So, I'll talk to you. It's a mark. 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 Into the dermis layer that made it past the epidermis, inner the dermis, layer of the skin to change the pigment for decorative and other reasons. Tattoos and humans are a type of decorative body modification. Various cultures of tattoo um, traditions dating as far as over 3000 BC in Asia, Africa, Middle East, etc. So you can see a few pictures here from ancient to modern. <laughs> My fascination with tattoos came from my favorite rapper of all time, Tupac and Arisha Kaur. And ever since I, I saw his thug life tats on his stomach, I decided to make my skin a living, breathing canvas for the visual arts. Okay? My skin marks, no pun intended, many milestones in my life and represent another form of expression for me. Example, the teardrops. And my face is in memory of my close friends who have died. You can see the screen. My son's name and my arms represent their birth and celebrate yeah, their life. Yeah, you, have the, yeah. you have the gas that on my knuckles. That represents. Where's the gas that's over You are failing the PowerPoint. represent the community where I'm from, the nickname for the community, and on my chest I have love is pain. Love is pain. I don't know that. Yeah? For, yeah, that here it is in the middle. Love is pain. This paradoxical phrase is symbolic in that it, it, it represents relationships that I have been in, where at times I have loved and lost, and also it signifies that the things that you love are the only things that can hurt you. Example, the death of a loved one as opposed to the death of a total stranger. So love is pain and for me tattoos alone are on the exterior. They, 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 they really tell a different story and they tell a lot about my interior. And I'm not just for show, but rather as, as, as the PowerPoint shows, I can serve as a history book of my life. Oh, yeah. Moving on to... Alright, this is where it gets interesting. No! Until the color, and somebody have to answer this question. I'm going to point at someone and they have to give me a specific answer. Okay? Until, listen carefully, until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes. Wow. Words made by his Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie was made popular by God Mary. What do you think his Imperial Majesty was made by this? You. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Why are you saying I'll answer the question? Until the color of a man's skin is a problem with significance and the color of his eyes. Come on stage and answer this question. Tell me your opinion. What do you think? Tell me your opinion. What do you think? Like, let's show please. They can come. No, they can come. The people in the area answer. Until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes. Wow. What you think is your prayer, Mother Sister? Until the color of a man's skin is of no more significance than the color of his eyes. Wow. What do you think is your prayer, Mother Sister?
the color of your skin, racial, um, your racial disparities, and the, the different segregations within race. What you are physically should not matter. It should not speak to your intellect. Yeah. Yeah. is or her opinion, many of which might paint me in a negative light, but they are, as I said before, their opinions. Now, fact, scientific fact, less than 4% of DNA determines our race and skin color. Less than 4% of DNA, according to, according to, Google. using black pride etc. I have no problem with black pride and I can assure you that my skin alteration has nothing to do with selfie or, or opposition to blackness and racism. And if we and if we should look into the issues of the black race as it relates to our advancement or non-advancement era worldwide, I think altering skin color will not be our biggest problem. Okay? I can feel that many appearance altering practices that started out controversial and taboo are now widely accepted and I'd like to give you a few examples. Black women, straightening their hair and wearing wigs, wigs and cosmetic surgery. White women, white women, lip and both injections and implants and cosmetic surgery to, to narrow the cheekbones or to block their nose. Bald men, hair transplants, and men in general, penis enlargements of which I have to see. Okay, um, forgive me because these notes are really scattered all over the place. Did you know that? When a male, when a male, this is fact, when a male in the 17th century were Aryans, that means you were a pirate. When a male wore earrings in the 1950s, it meant you were a homosexual. Right. No, when a male wears an earring, it's frustrating. You know what I mean? So from controversial and taboo to gaining widespread acceptance. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, I further maintain that bleaching today doesn't mean the same as bleaching 25 years ago. Today, listen to me, this is opinion making, this is my opinion. So when the lecture finishes, you can ask a few questions as to why I will not do what I do. 